In this video, we will show you how to install Matrix 1 and how to set up a small working access control system with just a few clicks. First, you need to install Matrix 1. You will need a Windows computer and a setup file. Run the setup as administrator and confirm the message that may appear. The installation process is prepared, followed by the language selection for the installation wizard. Select your preferred language for the setup procedure. By default, the language is set to the system language. A welcome message pops up. Click Next and accept the license agreement. Choose your own installation path or leave the path at its default value. If necessary, install additional language packs for the Matrix 1 user interface. You can also install additional languages for the online help. Data can also be created directly in the installation process. You can either select only the system data, which is the most necessary data for the system to work, or choose a first access manager. Alternatively, demo data can be installed to assist the sales department with demonstrations. We will install data for the access manager 9230T here. The installation wizard checks whether the required ports are free, so that a smooth operation after installation is possible. If there are green check marks throughout, the installation can be started. A short summary shows the selected options for the last time before installation. The installation process may take a few moments. As soon as the installation process is finished, you can start Matrix 1 directly from the installation dialog. Use the username Matrix with the corresponding password Matrix to log in. First, run the setup wizard and enter some basic settings. These settings can be changed later. Start the wizard by choosing Next. Assign new secure passwords for the system users, admin and matrix. Then click on Next. Configure general settings here. For example, decide whether you want to allow numeric employee numbers. More information about each option is displayed when you move your mouse pointer over the information icon. Restrict the components that can be used in Matrix 1. If you already know that you will not be using certain devices listed here, you can now deselect them directly. Select the ID card type you use. In the last step, you can activate or deactivate certain functions of Matrix 1. Disable functions that you do not want to use for better usability. To activate the settings, you have to log out and log in again. After you have made the basic settings, you will need to briefly configure the access manager you have installed during the setup process. Go to Devices, Devices and select your access manager. Enter the manager's IP address or host name here. Switch it to Active and click Save. Then load the new terminal data. Select the device and then click Transfer Data. The data transfer starts. When the transfer is completed, the status color is set to green. The red exclamation marks are gone. Navigate to Access, Person Administration, Access Profiles. Here you can check whether an access profile has been created and what it is called. Now create your employees in the system. To do this, go to Persons. Click on Create New Record and enter the first and last name of the person. You also have to assign an ID card number. The fields with a yellow background are mandatory. Switch to the Permissions tab and add a new access profile permission. Select the access profile All Doors. The person, James Bond, now has permissions for all doors. Save the record. After saving, the permissions are automatically sent to the readers. Your access control system is now operational.